If you Google Boise, Idaho, it'll say something like, Boise is known for its scenic mountains, outdoor recreational activities, and a vibrant downtown. All of which is true, but what's the side of Boise that no one thinks to tell you about? Here's a list of my personal pros and cons of living in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Pro number one, the weather. Idaho has four seasons, like legitimate seasons. We get snow in the winter, a beautiful spring, a traditional hot summer followed by a fall that lights up with colors. But now on the flip side, I talked to families who would consider moving to Idaho if it weren't for the winter. So having a true winter and snow, it can be considered a large drawback for many people, making it a con. But seeing as this is my list, I love the colder season, so I'm throwing it back over to the pro list and only keeping it as an unofficial con number one. Pro number two, we have less traffic. It almost goes without saying that there would be less traffic, seeing as there's only 1 million people here spread out through the entire Treasure Valley. In comparison, Los Angeles has nearly four times the amount of residents across a landmass that is a quarter of the size. So that alone can make a significant difference on your morning commute. And the fact that people will let you in when you're merging on the road is huge. You don't experience the road rage like you would in say San Francisco or Seattle. And there's never a line at Costco for guests, which might not be a big deal to you, but I currently have two teenage drivers, so that's a really big deal for me. But there is a big caveat. We do have some major roads in the Treasure Valley that are more congested than others. So that becomes my con number two. Road infrastructure here is lacking. Idaho just wasn't prepared for the influx of people coming into the state over the past 10 years. And the existing road infrastructure wasn't enough to keep up with the growth. So now Ada County Highway District is playing catch up and building out those roads. Major arterials are getting extended and widened, but we still have only one main interstate that divides the valley. And then everything else are city roads and highways. And when I say highway, I really just mean a wider road. It's not a freeway. These roads run north and south to connect various cities to the interstate, or they'll run east and west to parallel the interstate. So truly, everyone's using them to get everywhere throughout the valley. Before I continue with my list, I'm Erica Toffel, Global Real Estate Advisor with Group One Sotheby's International Realty. I'm a relocation specialist for Boise, Idaho. If you need help with any of your real estate needs, send me a text, write me an email. My information is on the screen. And please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Pro number three would be our downtown. It's clean, it's safe, it's easily accessible, it's not crowded. We have a great mix of restaurants and bars and shopping and businesses. We even have our own James Beard award-winning restaurant called Kin. But I warn you, reservations can be hard to come by. Now, our downtown is not huge, but it's definitely lively. We are a college town after all. Boise State University and its well-known blue turfed football stadium are located just across the river from downtown. It's within walking distance or electric scooter if you're so inclined. But as cute and as endearing as our downtown is, we are not a major metropolitan area. And that brings me to con number three, which is we don't have any professional sports teams. And some of the biggest headliners out there aren't coming to our town. My family happens to be huge football fans. So although we can go to Boise State to see a BSU Broncos game, we ultimately have to travel to Denver or Seattle or Las Vegas to watch an NFL football game. And if you're looking to attend a BTS concert or Harry Styles or Taylor Swift, again, you're going to have to travel to one of these other major cities. But it's super easy. You catch a quick Southwest flight and you're there. Or my husband and teenagers, they just did an overnight road trip to Salt Lake City for a UFC fight. So it can be done. And don't get me wrong, we do get top acts. We've had Garth Brooks, Imagine Dragons, Journey, the Jonas Brothers will be here soon, Tim McGraw is coming in the spring. We just don't get 
everyone. To piggyback on the fact that we aren't a super large city brings me to con number four, which is the lack of direct flights to some cities across the US. So if you're traveling internationally, you may be looking at a couple of connections, but it also means our airport is never crowded. It's easily accessible from all around the valley, super easy to navigate. Pro number four is more like unofficial perks of living in Idaho because it pertains to where I moved from specifically, which was Los Angeles, California. In reference to California, Idaho has lower sales tax, lower state income tax, and lower property tax. I'm declaring these unofficial because it depends on where you're moving from on whether these three tax-related perks apply to you. Obviously, a Nevada resident where they have no state income tax who's moving to Idaho would not consider us having any amount of state income tax a plus. Pro number five is the lifestyle because living in Idaho really changes your lifestyle. People are so friendly. There's never a shortage of outdoor activities to be found regardless of the season. You can ski, you can float the Boise River, you can whitewater raft the Snake River, you can fly fish, you can go boating, you can bike the Greenbelt, and Idahoans love their toys. Boats, jet skis, razors. If you can imagine it, you'll see it being trailered on an Idaho road. And all this stuff you can access within a 30 or 45 minute drive from wherever you are in the valley. People are just active here. It's a lifestyle that somehow manages to translate across generations to whatever stage of life you may be in. Before I get to my last con, what do you think about my list of Boise, Idaho's pros and cons so far? Comment below. Let me know what you like or don't like about Boise, Idaho. Con number four, and this is a big one. There is an affordability disconnect. What do I mean by that? People who are relocating from a different state, they look at Idaho as this small, rural, agricultural state. And they assume you can buy acres of land with a mansion on it for next to nothing. And there was a time when you could do that, maybe about 15 or 20 years ago. People still assume those prices from the early 2000s have stuck. So when they call me with their list of wants and wishes, it can sometimes be tough to meet their demands within their given budget. But once sticker shock wears off, we refocus on their needs first and wants second, and lo and behold, we find them a new home they love. Because when all is said and done, Boise, Idaho is a great value with such a great lifestyle compared to much of the country, which is simply unaffordable. For more videos about relocating to Boise, Idaho and real estate tips in general, make sure to check out one of the other videos on the screen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.